07, turn right, heading 185, reduce speed 182 or not. 185 on the heading 180 on the speed go fair 007. Speed at 124, reduce speed 160 or not to 40 or me. Hello there guys, Matt here, hope you're all well, and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use the Aerosoft Airbus Connected Flight Deck. The reason for this video is because I seem to get every single day on one of the many Connected Flight Deck videos I've done, people asking me exactly how you do it. A lot of people get frustrated by the fact they can't connect, and this and that and the other, and it's got to the point now where I have so many requests for it, I figured I'd show you. Now, this method works for me, I guess there'll be a, a few people that kind of question whether it's the safest way to do it, I suppose. But in reality, unless you're someone like the founder of WikiLeaks, I highly doubt you'll come into any sort of problem. So first things first, what are you going to need for the connected flight deck to work? Well, number one, you need a friend. A friend that has the same version of the Aerosoft Airbus as you do. Now, you can be an FSX, they can be in prepared, you can be an FSX, they can be an FSX Steam Edition, it doesn't matter. As long as you have the same version of the Aerosoft Airbus, you are good to go. Second of all, you will need a program called Hamachi. Now, Hamachi is a freeware tool, and I will leave the link to Hamachi in the description below. And what Hamachi does is essentially create a virtual network adapter which does away with all the restrictions of a normal network adapter with port blocking and this, that and the other. It essentially bypasses everything so that you can connect to your friend and they can connect to you without any issues. Lastly, you need the Aerosoft Airbus configurator, which comes with the Airbus. And maybe if you want to take the realism a small step further, you should grab the Aerosoft Connected Flight Deck tutorial, which is volume 9 of the documentation, which comes with the Aerosoft Airbus. Okay, so in front of you, you see my desktop. How lovely. This background is actually quite cool. I have it spanned across three screens, which looks even nicer. Anyway, I digress. Three things at the bottom of my screen you see I have open. Number one is this thing. This is Hamachi. Number two is my Windows firewall, which we'll talk about first. And number three is the Aerosoft uh, Airbus configurator. So first of all, let's talk about firewall. Now, as you can see, everything is off for me, just for the purpose of this video, and I will explain why. With Hamachi, although it does unblock ports and allow you essentially unrestricted access to your friend, there has always been a problem with me, whereas if I have my Windows firewall turned on when I'm trying to do things like shared cockpit, connected flight deck, it just doesn't work. So the first thing I do before I start a connected flight deck flight is I go into my firewall and I turn it off. So first thing you do is start and then in the search bar just search for Windows Firewall and make sure you open this Windows Firewall with advanced security. You'll then see in the middle that you need to click this kind of greenish arrow, Windows Firewall Properties, and this will pop up. Now, the only thing you're interested in here are the first three tabs, the Domain Profile, Private Profile, and also Public Profile. By proxy, they should be turned on, and they are on when they are on the recommended setting, which is there. And we're going to turn them off, so all three of them need to go off, and that will allow Hamachi essentially unrestricted access to everything. Okay, once you've done that, you need to, well, I'm hoping at this point you've downloaded and installed Hamachi. When you install Hamachi and open it up, it may do a bunch of stuff. It may even disconnect your internet temporarily while it configures the virtual network adapter. But once it does, you'll probably end up with it looking in this state. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to System and then Preferences and then Settings. In Settings, you'll see Peer Connections and then Encryption. Now, it doesn't matter if you have this enabled or disabled. The important part is that your partner, whoever you're flying with, your friend, has the exact same setting. So encryption for me is disabled, so anyone that I fly with has to have it disabled. Once you've done that, come back into Hamachi, and then you can press the power on button, and it will log you in, essentially. I can't remember if you have to have an account with Hamachi, but if you do, just make one. It's free. Nothing really comes of it. They don't really do anything with your data. I guess it's just a way of keeping track of who's doing what. Once you're in, you will probably not see anything like this. It will probably be blank for you. However, will soon fix that. If you click network on the top and then create a new network, 
you can then create a network for your friend to join. The people that get to access this are the people you give the details to. So, network ID, call it what you want, password, make sure you use something that you can give to your friend, not something you use for everything, and then just confirm the password. Once you've done that, you'll see that the network you just created is now available in the kind of white space underneath and you won't see anyone in your network just yet because of course you need to give them the details. Now for your friend, you need to give them the network ID and also the password and the way they join is by going to network and then join an existing network. They put the ID in, the password and away they go. When they've connected, you'll see them come in and you'll see them come in with their computer name and also an IPv4 address and some weird hashed kind of Mac-ish address. I don't really know what that is. And then you're good to go. If there's a green dot, great. If there isn't, don't worry just yet we still have to do a few other things and if there's still not a green dot at the end then you'll have to troubleshoot some more so first things first as I said make sure that both of you are using settings encryption settings of the same and then once you've done that right click on the, your friend get them to right click on you go to details then go to the settings tab and make sure traffic is set to allow all. By proxy, it's on default, so just change it to allow all. I've done shared uh, connected flight deck with Luke before, that's pork bun, and so we already had it set to allow all. Once you've done that, it's time to test whether you can ping them. Now, this is really important. If you right click and press ping and you get a request timed out, then there's a problem. If you right click and you ping and you get a reply, which I'm getting right now, you can see time 15, 14 milliseconds. That's good. It means you can get a connection to them. You need to make sure that they can do the same to you. If you both can ping each other, then you're perfect and away you can go. If not, check your firewall, check their firewall, check all of the tunneling, i.e. going to details and then settings, and just make sure you have everything the same. If you still run into problems at that point, then I, you're a lost cause and I really don't know what else to say. Just make sure everything that could possibly interfere with your network is disabled. Okay, with Hamachi out of the way and making sure you're, you can both ping each other, you need to open up the Aerosoft Airbus Configurator. Now, there's a separate one for the A3 18, 19, and 20, and 21. There's two versions. So there's one for the A3 18, 19, and then there's one for the 20 and 21. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I will say one thing. When you first launch it, make sure that all of these settings are the exact same as the person you are sharing the, the cockpit with or connecting the flight deck with. I found that if I'm using Using Navdata Pro and they're using Navigraph, sometimes the FM or the MCDU even breaks, and that's not good. So once you've done that, FS2 crew clearly needs to be disabled because that would just be bizarre. And then you need to go to other settings and you'll see the connected flight deck section right here. What you need to do is go back to Hamachi and you both need to right click on each other and go to copy IPv4 address and paste that in your co-pilot section of connected flight deck. Once you've done that, make sure both ports are exactly the same, so 6881, and then you are good to go. You just load up the Airbus in whichever flight sim you use, go to the right hand side MCDU and then click on connected flight deck. One make sure you're master, the other make sure you're slave. Master turn on the connection first and then slave follow shortly and you'll get a green con OK. Once that's done, you're good to fly. It's that simple. There are a few other things you can do to make your flying experience a little bit more, I guess, realistic. You can follow the connected flight deck tutorial. You can also do things like load the same panel state, load at the same gate, load the same weights. Uh, you can also load the same weather. Do your flights on VATSIM, do your flights on IVAO, do your flights on Pilot Edge, it's really up to you, but that will get you connected to the Airbus with relative ease. You can also use the same logic to connect to the Majestic software Q400 it follows the exact same procedure. Okay, if you have any questions about what I've done and I haven't covered them in the video, I will quite happily answer them in the comments below. Other than that, I think we are done here. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, hope you found it useful, and until the next video, I bid you all farewell. Take care and goodbye.